Hi, I'm Christine, and this adorable guy next to me is my husband, Randy. This channel is dedicated to those suffering from rare diseases and their partners who are there for them along the way. I have a few rare diseases and a significant amount of medical issues that have arose from those diseases. They are Durkheim's disease, lipedema, and primary lipolymphedema. There are no cures, but where there once was no hope, now there's a small light piercing through the darkness. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Join me in the telling of my story, the fun and laughs, the tears and anger, all of it, as I bear my soul and talk about things that I haven't talked about to anyone because I've never felt comfortable talking about it. I'll be discussing my past, my present, and bring you along in the future. I'll fill you in so you can understand how I got to this point, and then I'll take you on a journey to healing. Not yet a full healing, but healing enough for now. I'll give you information on these diseases from a patient's perspective. Maybe your understanding will help someone you come across in your life. The more that you know about these issues, the more it'll come to the forefront, and maybe physicians and surgeons will also begin to take notice. I say my rare diseases started in 1986, but that's when it began to come to the forefront. Looking back, it may have started long before that when I was a child. It started with uncomfortableness, which turned into small life lumps, then the burning and the pain. Your body getting swollen with fluid even though you haven't really been drinking excessive water. Masses forming over masses through the years, getting bigger and bigger and having no idea what's going on. researching and researching so many years of not knowing what's wrong no one believing you or understanding what you're going through in a crowded room you feel so alone year after year being told by doctors family physicians and specialists alike the pain is all in your head when you're hurting so bad that you can barely stand you're just fat, lose weight, and you'll feel better, knowing that you're doing everything you can think of to lose weight. Oh, lipomas don't hurt, as they shake their head in disbelief. You're eating things that you're not telling me about, otherwise you'd be losing weight. <sighs> Being in debilitating pain trying to get even a little relief, and because they don't know about the diseases and can't see visibly anything that's wrong. You hear, you don't really hurt, and I'm not giving you anything for pain. Well, they look at you in disgust, like you're just there to get a high. It's not only them. Strangers have their own input on whether it's to your face or under their breath, yet still in earshot. You have no purpose. You're just taking up space. You fat cow, you should just die. Oh my God, there's nothing wrong with that lady. She's just fat. Look at her. She's just lazy. She's not handicapped. And then there's your family and friends. You don't feel that you can fully share. And you tell yourself, just smile and hide your pain so you're not a burden. 
You don't want their pity, so you stay strong. Why would they understand if medical professionals don't? If I complain too much, I'll lose their friendship. Ugh, the list is very long, and some were true, some were not. Have you ever realized it's easier to believe the negative? Every day is an emotional struggle, and every day is a fight to keep going. Every day is pain that you can't control, but you try to hide. Every day is a day to analyze the amount of pain you're in so you can decide what you can accomplish, if anything, that day. But... Every day is also a day to find the determination to make a change. Every day is a day to fight to make things better. Every day is a day to learn what I can to help myself. And more importantly, every day is a day to use that knowledge to help others. Every day is a day filled with hope. While my medical issues have no cure, there are ways to take back some of my life. Researchers and doctors are coming out with new information and new procedures. Walk with me on my journey as I record the good, the bad, and the ugly along the way. Learn about these diseases, speak about them. Maybe you'll realize someone that you know may be affected. Join me in my journey of healing. Hit the like and subscribe to follow me so you don't miss a beat. <laughs> Let's just see what happens.